Madam Thank Chair, real quick. Yes. But does that mean if like a department has any sort of request for a new item that they should automatically think I'm not even going to put it in my budget, try to shoot for a warrant article instead because the default budget is what I'm going to get dealt with? I mean, like. No, they try. No. I mean, and then sometimes, half the time, Fred shoots it down. Yeah. Or it even gets. But I mean, we call I, it I, double I, dipping. I agree. I agree with your point. <laughs> You know, if the cops don't get new weapons, you give them stones, they're going to go out there and police the streets. Um, they're going to make do with what they have to do because that's the job they have to do. You, you. But if they needed new guns, do, do they go, eh, I don't even want to put it in my budget because I don't want that to get shot down. So okay. should we just shoot it for a warrant article? Yeah. Historically, there is a budget for new equipment already there. All right. Um, I'll give you a good for instance. There is a but there is money in the budget for the specials in the police department, mm -hmm. and this year we wanted a second round. People in this town acknowledge the fact that our police force does need some enhancement. We do need to build it, and that second round went into out as a warrant article, and it passed. Mm -hmm. All right, so. My answer to you, Nick, is it's not a one-size-fits-all. We have a lot of places within the budget that we maintain. We've been a very logical community as we've gone along. Mm -hmm. But now we're growing, and there are other things that we need, and maybe a different look at the roads and how we deal with roads. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. Um, not to get too far from yeah. this. But no, there, the thing is to look at what, what do we have in there? And what is the request? And if it's so much more, maybe, than what's already there, then maybe it needs to be in a warrant article. And if we really need it, I really believe the voters will give it to you. Okay. All right? And that's, so, yeah. I just, I just get nervous if, if I was leading a department and, and um, it was up to me to, to say, well, is this, you, constantly having to triage things, um, necessities or what's more important than the other and having to say well we don't need new radios today because we need this more we need more staff or we need new this i want to make sure that we keep my main goal is to make sure that we keep the 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 training fresh the the bodies fresh if it's more bodies that are needed whether it's the dpw the police or fire department make sure everybody isn't afraid to come forward to ask for that stuff you know because i want to make sure that they don't just have to default say, well, let's put it on a warrant article because we're afraid to put it in our, our expense budget. I don't want anybody to be afraid of anything. Yeah. In, in the end, it may not be the what they're asking for, but how we ask the voters for it, okay? Understood. I, I, I think that that part of the process, people in this town want to say on what they decide on, what they don't decide on. Um, but I don't think that any department head should be afraid. That's what we want them to do is come in and tell us. I've said it more than once. Mm -hmm. You know, come in and tell us what you need. Um, and I don't want to tie their hands. That's not what the budget process is about. It's just how we go about attaining the things that we do need. Okay. okay? Tim was next, and then Sonny. Yeah, I think, too, I think Nick brings up a, a, a good point. Um, I think that is a commonly held view, but I think we need to take the uh, greater truth at hand here. The department heads do not create warrant articles. Mm -hmm. So they're not sitting there saying, should I make a warrant article or put it in the budget? That's not their decision. They may end up having an advocacy toward doing one or the other, but it's not their decision. It's no, the, I understand it's, it's not their decision. I'm just... Yo, I, I want to make clear for, for everyone, including the TV audience, yeah. that it's the Board of Selectmen that make that decision. Okay? As a practical matter, it's the town manager because the Board of Selectmen does whatever the town manager wants, essentially. So it's really the town manager, who is in fact the boss of all those department heads. I understand. So that's really where the call's made, is in the town manager's office. Yeah, and I understand. I, I th my point was more in the department heads making that Inter having that internal monologue where what battle is worth fighting for you know what I'm saying in triaging the needs of the department mm -hmm. and, and going forward to say what's the best route to go about this um, 
again, they, they are, they're doing a wonderful job with the, with the amount of stuff they have, and I'm sure they will continue to do so. And I just want to make sure that, um, you know, we're working together with, say, it's the Board of Selectmen, the department heads. I want to make sure that we're trying to do our best so that our department heads can kind of, like you said, feel comfortable coming here and saying, hey, we need, you know, new cars or we need new this. I want them to, you know, be able to feel like they can come to us and, and not be, for lack of better terms, browbeat or, or, or burdened with uh, having to come up with validating over, over validating the needs of the department. Um, working within the budget, you know, the default budget, they're doing a great job, but I don't want to have them triage one thing that's over the other one. Not saying that they would create a warrant article, but go through the efforts of what's worth fighting for as far as their needs and equipment and training and such. Well, they're coming in just simply telling us what, what they're not telling us, but they're telling the, the town manager, their boss, mm -hmm. and the town manager is communicating that to the Board of Selectmen, whatever he communicates, the Board of Selectmen basically throws holy water on it, and it comes down to us. Okay, mm -hmm. and basically we have a discussion about their needs mm -hmm. and how these numbers relate to those needs, whether it's in the form of the budget or whether it's in the form of a warrant article. Okay. I think that it does make some sense, as Eileen, the chairman, uh, pointed out, that it's not a black and white issue whether it belongs in the budget or a separate warrant article. Mm -hmm. I think those situations need to be separate, and I think a good example of that was the police department last year. It was a new process for, for training new officers. Yeah. And there was more m money needed for that. Now, it was a good question about whether that should go in the budget or not. Well, it was a new process. You know, from my mind, it made perfect sense for a new process to be put forth to the voters and, ma and make the case. The case was made. The voters overwhelmingly approved it. No issue at all. Had that been put in the budget, that new process would have been dead. And that would not have been good, mm -hmm. because that's not what the voters apparently wanted. Okay. So, you know, warrant articles are very good for these kind of things. Okay. 